Hi guys, it's Michaela with your Everyday Woman. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my March makeup purchases and my reviews on the products I have tried and played around with. So if you would like to know my thoughts on a few of the products I'm about to show you, just keep on watching. Okay, so to start, I am going um, to show you the, or share with you my thoughts on the Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow. Uh, it says it is undetectable, medium to full coverage, and it is oil free. So I got in, and I was a little hesitant to buy this at first because it is full coverage, and I am not a full coverage person. I was afraid it was going to look cakey and kind of weird, and it's just not something I, you know, really was like totally sold on buying but it did look really well with the skin it looked natural it looked just kind of smooth um, the only problem I did have with this is that I had taken a trip and you had come back with really dry skin and I put this on and it did show the cakiness of the dryness of my skin so if you are one to have a problem with really dry skin you might not like this but I'm thinking for the summer if you know with enough with being able to moisturize and my skin not being so dry in the summer this will look really well and just you know basically you just need to make sure you're moisturizing which is what you should do anyway but yeah uh, I really did like this uh, next I did buy the it cosmetic CC cream in the shade light I did not really like this you know upon first application it has a really strong smell which you know, if you are very prone to headaches, it just it reminds me of like a triggering for a headache. So you might not like this. I mean, yeah, the smell goes away as you wear it, but for me, it's definitely not my favorite. And as I wore it, it was patchy. You know, as the day went on, it didn't stay all that great. It was kind of just all over the place for me. It did do a good job at color correcting, but for me, uh, just this is just not something I really liked, and it didn't feel natural on the face, and it, you know, it didn't, you know, feel like I thought, you know, it would feel I thought it would feel kind of light, and not so heavy, and I just did not get that with this. Next, I bought the Maybelline Superstay uh, lipstick in the shade Philosopher. Uh, again, not one of those purchases that I really liked. You know, I think the color was weird. I think it just looked really too, like you're going kind of, it reminds me of like an 80s um, kind of themed makeup look. The bright, bold lip and colors and it just looked very unnatural, which I mean, if you like colors out there, you might like this, but for me, the wear was not my favorite. It kind of, it went, it took forever to dry. When it dried down, it wore off completely and then trying to get the excess off, it just did not want to come off. So for me, this, you know, I definitely will not be purchasing any more colors with this product. So it was not my favorite. After that, I did go and buy the Too Faced Unicorn Tears Lip Topper in the shade Magic Crystal. Um, I did genuinely like this. It's got a really pretty kind of shift to it. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right next to the Unicorn Tears. I don't know if you can see that right there. But it's got a really pretty kind of blue shift to it. I really liked it. I thought it was fun to wear. It dries down nicely on the lips. Uh, and then it, But it still has a glossy effect as you wear it throughout the day. And it's, This one, it stays actually really well. So I genuinely liked this lip product. After that, I went and purchased the City Color Collection Banana Powder. Again, this is one of those things that I really didn't like. I found it on sale, so I decided to purchase it. But I felt like it, you know, I, when I put it over my concealer to set my concealer into place, I just noticed a very yellow tint throughout the day. I noticed that my concealer was creasing, so I didn't really think it did what it needed to do for me. Oh, she's, hi baby. You wanna come sit with me? Okay, come here. Come here. <laughs> She's thinking about just trying to figure out how to get around her toys to get to me right now. But yeah, overall, not my favorite. I think that there are better things out there than this. But yeah. Uh, then I went in and I 
did purchase the Ellen Tracy liquid illuminator. I did really like this. I like that it's not overpowering on the face, but it just kind of adds your subtle color. I'm gonna swatch it for you right here. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's like just, it's not overpowering. Um, a little tip for you guys, when you apply, if you happen to apply like your blush and your bronzer are a little too intense for what you like, you use this as your highlighter, you put it right over your cheeks and it actually tones down the uh, intensity of the bronzer and blusher with the bronzer and the blush without having to like try and go in, reblend, fix everything. It's just kind of, it just helps to really tone that down. So um, I used the Ulta Beauty one in the past and I really liked it and this just kind of, it seems to be doing the same thing. So that's why I really like the liquid illuminators. It just, it helps so much and it wears wonderfully. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, next, I did go and buy the Tarte um, Treasure Pot in the shade Moonwalk. Um, I thought it was very fun to wear. It does, you know, the gel when it, it is a glitter gel, so if you're not a big fan of the gel filling, you might not like this, but the glitter gel does dry down super quickly and it just, it stays on all day. You don't really have any problems and then when you're done wearing it, you know, at the end of the day, you just wash it off with water and it just, you know, it comes out without a problem. You wear it on your face and your hair. I mean, I've heard, you know, people doing all sorts of stuff with this. So I genuinely really like this. It's just, it's fun to wear, you know, especially now that we're in spring. I mean, it it's advertised as being good for festival season. Um, we've got a couple of Easter events to go to with our church that I'll put on me and the big girl and, you know, maybe one of her cousins or something if she feels like dressing up a bit and having a little bit of fun. But uh, I really like it. I enjoy it. Uh, fairs, our county fair is coming up, so that's probably another time I'll wear it. So it's just, it's fun. You know, even if you're not one to go out and do a bunch of stuff and you just kind of want to have a little bit of extra glitter on your face, you know, a little extra glitter never hurt anybody. So yeah, uh, I genuinely like this. After that, I got the Tarte Hardiest Pro uh, False Eyelashes in the Style Goddess. These are intense, you know, especially if you're like not familiar with wearing eyelashes and you know, they're fun, they're great, especially if you've got a really bold eye, you really want a really bold lash to play around with it, but it's intense. And if you're one to like more intense eyelashes, more bold eyelashes, I say go for it. They stay really well, the band is clear, so you don't really notice. I mean, you know you're wearing false eyelashes, obviously, but you don't really see the band, especially if you're not one that likes to wear eyeliner. But yeah, so if you are bold, you'd probably have a lot of fun with these, and I genuinely like these. After that, uh, I went and bought the LA Colors Brow Pencil. I found this for less than a dollar, so I thought I'd try it out, especially for those of you who are on a really tight budget, but you want something for your brows. Uh, I think for a dollar, it definitely works. I think it looks good, but you know, for me, I find it to go on very patchy on the brows. It doesn't really look super natural. I mean, it's good for being what it is, but it just doesn't look super natural. But I do love the spoolie on this end. It's so nice and easy to, you know, to put on and brush your brows in the process. And, you know, I really like it. Um, so, next, I did purchase the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera Palette. Uh, I really like it. I think it's fun. I think it's good. Uh, I like the packaging on it. I think it definitely screams summer. Um, and then the colors um, really just kind of, you know, emulate the packaging. You know, you get really fun, colory, fun, summery colors. You've got your pastels in there. Uh, and I really like it when a color story goes with the theme of a palette. When a brand does that, I think it really just, it just, it brings out the uniqueness of it and I just I if you're gonna do something with a theme go all in don't just kind of halfway do it so um, on the top here you've got all your shimmer shades and then your white shade here and on the bottom here you've got all your matte shades which I really like I think it probably would have been nice to see them like do like a shimmer blue and a matte blue um, and kind of do it like that like they kind of did it with these two shades here with Palermo the shimmery shade on top and then the Bahamas, but I mean, that's just for me, I think it would have been fun to ha kind of have both of them to work with both a shimmery and a matte kind of together. 
But I mean, that's just me being me, and I just I just I think it would have been fun. But I'm not complaining. I like the color choices that they put in here. I like that they would have. You know, I like what they did and the style they were going for. I just, I think it would have been a little more, just being able to kind of work with the shimmer and the mattes together would have been a little bit more better in my opinion, but you know, I'm not complaining. It's a good palette. It's fun. Um, if you are into colors, uh, I would highly recommend this palette if you like colors or if you're wanting to add a colorful palette to your collection, I think this is a good way to go. If you don't like colors, if you don't like, if you're more of a neutral person, you're not really ready to venture out into colors yet, I probably would not pick up this palette just because of the fact that just overall, you know, not being brave enough because these colors are intense and they're great, but definitely not something if you're not into colors. Uh, the only problem I really have with these is they have a lot of kick up when you put your brush into them, but the formula is great. They blend well together. They work well on the eyes. They work just overall just really well. So uh, I will go ahead and swatch these for you really quick. Um, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do the top row on one arm and the bottom row on the other. So I'm gonna, starting with this shade, Sails. It's a nice white, really intense white color. The shade Yacht is your very like goldeny brown color, which is, it's a fun color. It's nice if you're wanting to play around with the, with the shimmers, but not like go with an intense like blue or a pink color. Speaking of blues, now I'm going with seashells, which is a nice royal, or not royal blue, but like a teal, nice and teal blue. It almost matches my nails. My nails are a little bit more green. But yeah, next we're going in with the shade Palermo, which is your nice shimmery intense, like almost a hot pink color. Uh, next is Seaside, which is your or your silver with a purple shift to it. It's a very unique kind of fun color. Inheritance is a bright gold. Um, it's a ni your nice yellowy gold color, which is fun. And then Mediterranean is your like more of your true violet kind of purple blue shift. Uh, on this hand, we are going in with a state. I tried swatching these earlier and you can kind of see the leftover here, but we'll just ignore that. So a state is your like kind of light peachy kind of just, it's a good fade shade. Um, yeah, little girl's right there just playing around, just had to check on her real quick. A state, or not a state, cabana is your more of your true mustardy yellow. Uh, I really do like this color. I love a good mustardy yellow. It's I think it looks really pretty. A uh, coastline is more of your true kind of peachy tone, very corally, very peachy. Definitely, it's a fun color. It's a great transition color. It's fun to use with the state. I think the colors complement each other really well. So I do like that. Now, Bahamas is your hot pink. Oops, I think I just covered up that coastline color. Let me see if I can get that right. There we go. Um, but yeah, Bahamas is your hot pink. Uh, very fun, very bold, very daring if you're gonna use that color. Uh, Monte Carlo is more of your soft pink. Complements well with Bahamas, but this is more of just like your kind of everyday kind of pink, whereas Bahamas is like your out there kind of pink. Con is a, is your true purple color. It's kind of, you know, you on the camera it looks pretty similar to the Bahamas shade, but in all reality it does, it is more of a true purple. And then Palm is your brown with your red shift to it. It's a very nice kind of like warm chocolatey brown, which I really like. And uh, yeah, the shadow does, or the palette does come with a brush. So yeah, um, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, here are your colors. Some of them might show up on camera better than others, but they're all really pretty all fun and uh, that wraps up the video so um, I hope you guys like this uh, video if there are products that you want me to try feel free to let me know and I will definitely get to doing a video on them um, but until then I will probably do another one of these come 
May for April's um, purchases and reviews. I think I'm going to do a series on this. I kind of accidentally did it during la in the month of March for like my newest makeup purchases and for there that was kind of my kickoff for just each month doing it so I'll probably do that and we'll just see how this goes. Uh, if you guys, you know, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and God bless and see you in the next video. Bye!